In the brand new Ghosts of the Deep Dungeon, there are 12 hidden memory collectibles which you have to find in order to get the brand new Ghoul Seal and Title. These are hidden throughout the mission, and as always, I'm going to show you the best way to get them with timestamps down below. Now, before we get into that, my partners over at Advanced are doing a huge sale for Memorial Day weekend. You can use code MEM35 at checkout to get 35% off the entire site, and that includes the three brand new flavors. So if you want to get yourself some really great drink mixes as well as support the channel, the links will be down below. So let's go ahead and get into this. So for the very first fragment, it's right when you spawn in to the dungeon itself, you're going to be in the Arcology. If you go up the road a little bit and jump on the first hill, there's going to be some branches that you can jump through, find a secret Arcologist room, and in the very back of this hallway, you're going to find the first ghost fragment. Now you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and complete the first encounter and start the jump puzzle. Very early on in the jump puzzle, there's gonna be a room where you have to dodge a lot of fan blades, and then you're gonna to have to jump through kind of a wire mesh screen uh, to go into the next part of the jump puzzle. However, instead of going through the tube that you would normally go into, if you climb up some of these little pillars on the side of the wall, you'll find a secret room with the second ghost fragment. The third fragment's just a little bit further. You're gonna get into the next series of rooms that just require you to drop down continuously, and then you'll get into another Arcologist hallway type looking deal. But as you progress, you'll hit this pink room and up in the rafters, you will find the third ghost fragment. As you keep going, you'll get into this room where you have to clear a bunch of enemies and you're surrounded by the kind of methane ocean. And then there's a huge drop down followed by a room full of spinning staircase looking things. If you sit on the very first spinning staircase and look at the center pillar, you will find the fourth memory fragment resting on the wall. Keep on going until you get into this drop down where you have to go into a full room full of methane. There's a couple of these, but this is one of the very first ones. In one of these sections of this room or like in one of the sides of this room, there's going to be a red door that is not all the way closed. You can see it's kind of pried open a little bit and you can enter that and you will get your fifth memory fragment. The sixth memory fragment is a little bit further. You're gonna get into this outside section where you're just dropping down platforms continuously and you'll get to one that looks really large and triangular like this with a bunch of glass tubing on the sides. And it will require you to drop down once again to a uh, lower level before you take a fan into the room that you see there. However, if you stay outside and you walk around the walkway on the outside, you will find a calcified fragments on one of the corners. Just be careful while you're checking it out because you don't want to accidentally fall down and miss this fragment. For the seventh fragment, you're gonna continue on until you get into one of the very final full rooms where you are kind of in this extended underwater section. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of bubbles, but there's kind of a red colored window that you have to walk through. And normally you would drop down into the next series of rooms. However, for this calcified fragment, you're gonna hang left and you're gonna walk around the outside of the building to find the seventh memory fragment.
Now, once you get done going through all of these different buildings in the initial underwater section, there's gonna be a large drop down to a very wide open, kind of fully underwater section of this jump puzzle. Now, normally you would go forward and the first secret chest is on your left, but instead of jumping off that cliff, if you turn around as soon as you jump into this area, there's gonna be a little alcove right behind you, and that is where the eighth memory fragment will be found. At the very end of this extended underwater, fully immersed section, whatever you want to call it, you're going to get a really great view of the crashed hive tomb ship. And instead of going left to progress through this traversal section, if you turn right, there's going to be a little cave and that is where you are going to find the ninth memory fragment. Then once you finally make it inside of the tomb ship, you're gonna get into a room with a bunch of tube slides and you go into the tubes and some might kill you or chuck you into the abyss or whatever. But when you get through these tubes and you find yourself in the very next room, they're going to be sort of kind of, let's say lactating hive nipples sticking off of the wall. And inside of one of these, you will find your 10th memory fragment. Then you're gonna go ahead and complete the second encounter or the first boss encounter. And as you are moving towards the final boss, you're gonna to get to a section where you see the giant whale off in the distance. There's kind of this open balcony section. Right after you exit this section, you're gonna enter right back into the hive tomb ship and there will be kind of a fence off to your left. And this is where you will find the 11th memory fragment. And then finally, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and complete the entire dungeon. Go ahead and kill the final boss, and then you're going to enter the underwater symbol room right behind the corpse of Oryx. So uh, kind of the back wall um, where you normally would fight the hunter, acolyte, hive, uh, lucent hive thing. Um, when you come here after you beat the boss, you're gonna find a Taken King symbol that you have to line up just like you have to during the fight. These rocks are going to disappear in the back of the room and you can go through this hallway and you will be able to find the 12th and last memory fragment. I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please consider subscribing. We are well on the road to 100,000 subscribers. I hope you guys are enjoying this dungeon as much as I am and I hope you have a fantastic day.